As the owner of any old wooden boat will tell you, much of the hardware is actually custom one-off pieces. So it can be very, very difficult to replace anything. Uh, you can't go to West Marine and buy it. You can't go to the store and buy it. A lot of times you, have, you either have to get lucky finding an antique or have it made. Uh, someone stole from me. They've taken my bronze gooseneck off of my boom. It's, it's pretty upsetting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, yesterday, when I, I, you know, after, we got the, after I got the bow spread on, I wanted to mount the booms, right? I went and I grabbed the the tracks for the cars for the for the gooseneck, you know, the booms, and slapped them onto the mast, and the uh, the gooseneck for the mizzen, well, that was already there. So then I go down and grab the booms and move them over, and then I look and I'm like, where the hell is the gooseneck? And I I swear it was on the boom, right? So I'm I tore apart the boat, the whole thing. I pulled everything out. My the boat inside is in shambles now. I pulled every, I dumped every locker, every drawer, went through the lazarettes, went through everything, right? Then I then I went tore through the storage tent here, and then I went through my van, tore through that, and man, it's just gone. It's gone because somebody took it, right? So I drove to my shop a hundred miles away because I have some bronze stuff and I grabbed a couple of goosenecks that might work. Lucky for me, I work on a lot of old wood boats and old boats in general. And so I got these guys right in the shop. And this is a testament to the quality that when they say things aren't made the way they used to be, well, this will go to show you, right? This is from 50s, 60s era. It's a, it's a gooseneck from that era from the main, from a 40-foot boat, right? This is the gooseneck from a 40-foot boat from the 1980s. So, <laughs> and Shalimar, her gooseneck is even bigger than this one. Uh, Shalimar's a 1967 Mariner 40. This one's close. This is, it's like one size smaller in some ways. The, it's a little narrow, uh, this is a little shorter than the one that was stolen, but I, I believe I can make this work. I've been angry, you know, I mean, I already, I was already angry. I've thrown things, I've been furious, and then, you know, kind of depressed that this original part of the boat is gone. So, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about any of it, right? So, it's time I take my own advice and be done with that, you know? The time for being angry is done. The time for being upset is done. And now it's no different than any other problem I have to fix on the boat. Now it's just time to fix it. It's time to time to get to work. Let's get cracking. So as big as it is, it's still a little small. A little bit, there's a little bit of a gap here. And as you can see, the clevis pin is smaller. So what we're gonna have to do, I don't wanna drill this out. There's not enough meat there. This one we can drill out. We're gonna have to. That's gotta be five eighths and same thing. This is only a half inch. But, so, what I'm gonna do is I've got these bushings. They also don't fit. It's a half inch ID, but it's a three quarter OD. This guy here, he's 11 16th. So as you can see, it won't fit. But this will take up the hole in there and should take up the space there. But we'll have to we'll have to mess with it and get it down right. So really what we have to do is take off a 32nd all the way around, which isn't a lot. So that way it'll fit on the fitting on the boom. I'm thinking put it on here, tighten this nut down, that way it gives me something to file against. I really think that'll work. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. <laughs> All right. to go. 
Some of you guys might wonder why I don't just drill this out. Well, I'm not going to go drilling the original stuff or modifying the original hardware. I'd rather modify this gooseneck, you know, and eventually find one that either fits perfect or, or just use this. But I'm not going to go messing with the original hardware of the boat. So that other way was really, really slow. Um, so we're going to try this craziness. <laughs> I don't know. It might be working. I think so. Dang it. Not yet. <laughs> I don't have a, a machine shop here or, you know, any kind of metalworking tool. All I have is my simple <laughs> woodworking brain and I don't know, my drill, I guess. Just basic stuff. Will's Redneck Wonderlay 3000. It kind of works. That's the slogan. It kind of works. It's really close, and this is really, really, really almost fitting. And if you notice the hole, it's kind of oblong. It's not, it's stretched a little bit, right? I think we can use that to our advantage. And what I, what I intend to do, I'm gonna mark this here, right? And I'm gonna mark the other side where it's tight. My thinking is, if I file it down here and here, it might match the oblong shape and actually kind of lock the bushing in place. see what we got woohoo that's it all right like two hours later let's do the next one <laughs> I got the bushings to fit both top and bottom and there's a reason why I went with these guys because they have the flange right if you look at the gooseneck here there's a little bit of a gap see that there's a gap, and that gap is no good. You want everything to fit tight. The tighter it is, the less slop there is, the less wear there is. However, those are too thick. So you know what that means. More filing. Eh, gotta take a little more off. So, since they also stole my clevis pin, and I don't have another one that size, we have to make one. I have this old bronze eye bolt. And uh, checking the fitment here through the bushing, doesn't fit. So, we're going to ream this a little, and then we're probably going to use the uh, Wonderlay 3000 on this. Now... Kinda. I really hate people that steal stuff.
Well, what is it? Nine hours later, <laughs> we're still not done. Uh, I'll show you. So we got this part done. I got the clevis pin made, the bushings in, but this, what goes on the car, the gooseneck car on the slide on the mast, that's got to be five eighths. And on there, it's half inch. So we're going to have to take it to a drill press. And I'm thinking it's already, I don't know, seven o'clock at night tonight. Uh, I'll try, but probably going to be tomorrow. I guess now we're gonna just test fit it on the mast and uh, we know it fits on the boom so might be able to get the boom up. Looks like we have a winner. So now the gooseneck is on the mast however we need a clevis pin for here right I have two options here we got an old bent bronze bolt and I have a copper deformed copper former bolt <laughs> both good candidates this guy he already fits all right he goes in just fine however it's a little loose and, and i prefer things to be a little tighter i'm not sure if this will fit you see the threads are kind of not focus the threads are kind of coned out so i'm going to cut those off and then we'll see because i can always peen this over into a head like a glove all right so we're just gonna peen ahead on this and got our clevis pin Shoo. it's hot yeah I think I got a pretty good head on that look that'll work just enough to keep it from coming out. So now we're gonna go up and mark where we're gonna draw the hole. And uh, yeah, this clevis pin will be done. So we're sitting with my boat neighbors here and we're gonna hoist Mr. Boom up. I need my mallet. Hang on. Back over on the cigar. Got it. Not too shabby. Good, man. Yeah, man, the booms are up. I really yeah. appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah. Here's the finished product. You know, it's not perfect, but it's really, really, really dang close to what was on there. It really is. I think, I think that'll do just fine. Originally, I thought, you know. This would just be temporary, but I I think that'll hold it for a hundred years. Good deal. So what did we learn here? It took three days, you know, this was three days. The first day of digging around, trying to find it, and then driving a 200 miles round trip to go find this sucker. All day yesterday, making clevis pins and drilling and 
filing with the Wonderlay 3000, and then today, drill press and mounting it. But you know, I took something that really upset me, you know, a real big negative. And yeah, it was a lot of work, but I turned it into something I, I can be proud of. You know, I turned a negative into a positive, you know. Um, I'm happy. It, now, I'm not happy that the original gooseneck was stolen. You know, I would be much happier if I could find the guy that stole it, tie him down, force him to watch every episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians ever made while his shoes are full of raw chicken gizzards. That would make me happier. But this, this is a, uh, a good second place. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I, I think I'll stick with this. I, I don't see any reason to change it. I think it's good. So, uh, yeah. All right, moving on.